Hello everyone, we will continue the topic types of internal tables and in the previous videos we finished with standard internal table, sorted internal table. Now it's a turn for the hashed internal table. And yes, little bit conceptual and tricky concept also. So what is hash internal table? It is a special type of internal table which works on hash algorithms. Now the first question comes into everyone mind. Yes, what is hash algorithm or what is hashing? Hashing, hashing is a technique which directly returns the address of the record based upon the search key. Hashing is a technique which directly returns the address of the record based upon the search key. Suppose simple example. If I will go for the diagram, suppose internal table has five records. Suppose we have a hashed internal table and in that internal table, we have five records and we are searching for suppose order number 10. So what is our search key? Our search key is order number 10. So what hashing will do? Hashing will directly, directly point to the address of order number 10, where address number 10 is. Suppose I'm going for suppose order number 5. So what is our search key? Our search key is order number 5. So what hashing will do? It will directly, directly point to the address where 5 is stored. Suppose I want to search for order number 8. So what hashing will do? It will directly, directly point to the address of the order number 8. Now the most, most important point, it will never, never take index into consideration. It is never, never a index based internal table. It is without using the index because we told, yes, this internal table is based upon hash algorithms. It will use hashing. So whenever we have hashing, there is no role of index at all because many times people will think, okay, suppose I'm going for order number eight. So what people will think? It is going to index three. Suppose if I'm going for order number 12. So in our current scenario, what people will think hashing technique is going to index number five. Suppose if I'm going for order number one. So what people think hashing technique is taking us to the index one. No, hashing is never, never based upon index. It is never take index into consideration it directly returned to the address address. It has its own algorithms, own functions, own techniques that we do not take into consideration. That is his job. That is a hashing job. But hashing is never, never based upon the index. During interview, we always, always ask this question. Yes. Is hash internal table is based upon index? Hash internal table is never, never based upon index. The simple answer is why? Because hash internal table use hash algorithms, use hashing. So in case of hashing, there is no role of index at all it will return, directly return the address of the record itself. So if I will come on to theory part, it directly return the address of the record 
based upon the key, but there's no role of index at all. Now, whenever we will go for hash internal table, we need to specify the unique key. Now, just compare it to other types of internal table. In case of standard internal table, we have not specified any key at all whenever we declare. In case of sorted internal table, you can specify the unique key also. You can specify the non-unique key also. Now, in case of hash internal table, we can only only go for the unique key. We cannot go for non-unique key. We always, always has to go for unique key. And you can simply, simply understand why, why I'm saying it's unique key. Suppose we have two records of order number one. Suppose we are going for one more record of order number one. Now, we specified non-unique key order number. Now, whatever, what hashing will do? Suppose our search key is order number one. Now, what hashing will do? Hashing will point to the address of the record. Now, for the hashing, hashing will confuse because we have two addresses for the order number one. So remember always, always in case of hashed internal table, we have unique, unique key. There is no concept of non-unique key at all. In case of sorted, yes, you can go for non-unique key. But in case of hashed internal table, we always, always has a unique key. Now we will go to the system. And we will firstly declare a hash internal table. Now, what I will do, I will comment the code for the sorted internal table. And now I will go for hashed internal table. So I will copy the types first. Very conceptual type of internal table. Now I declared the structure. Now I will declare the hashed internal table. I will write data LT underscore data type hashed table of. What is our structure name? LTY underscore data. Now with unique key. Suppose I will go for order number. So this is the way how you can declare a hashed internal table. Suppose I will show you can we go for non-unique key or not. Suppose I am here writing non-unique key. And it is in red color. System is not even allowing us. So in case of hash internal table, always, always unique key is allowed. Now I will declare work area also. And I will check the syntax. I will activate up to this level. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with hashed internal table and we covered the extremely important point. If this will be clear, future videos of hash internal table will be automatically cleared. 
in case of hash internal table it is totally based upon hash algorithms now the question will comes into everyone mind what is hashing with hashing is a technique which directly return the address address of the record suppose we took the example i am suppose searching for order number 1 so hashing will directly point to the address where order number 1 is if i am going for order number 8 so hashing will directly point to order where order number 8 is there where the address of order number 8 is there now many people think yes whenever hashing hashing is going on index based in case of hashing there is no role of index at all so never think that hashing went to index 3 hashing went to index 4 hashing went to index 12 no in case of hashing there is no role of index at all so if there is no role of index in case of hashing it means our hashed internal table there is no role of index at all we only only has the role of key key now after that we simply simply declare the internal table hashed internal table in case of hashed internal table you always always has to specify the unique key there is no concept of non unique key at all always always there must be a unique key so we declare the hash internal table using the unique key in the next video we will cover so many important points and this topic will come become automatically clear so that's it in this video thank you